ディズニー・ピーター・パン。ディズニー・ピーター・パン。ディープ・イン・ザ・ハート・オブ・ロンドン・ウェス。ザ・ハウス・ウェア・ザ・ダーリン・ファミリー・リフト。ウェンディ・ダーリン・シェア・アナスリー・ウェス・ハート・ヤング・ブラザーズ・ジョン・アンド・マイコル。アト・ベッド・タイム、ウェンディ・トーダ・ハー・ブラザーズ・ストーリー・ザ・バット・ア・ファー・アウェイ・プレイス・ネバー・ラット。ザ・ヒーロー・オブ・ディーズ・ストーリー・ズ・ワーズ・ピーター・パン、a boy who never grown up. Peter's special friend was a tiny fairy called Tinkerbell. John and Michael loved to act out these stories in which Peter had wonderful adventures. One night, when the children were fast asleep, Peter Pan and Tinkerbell flew in through the nursery window. They had come to search for Peter's shadow. It had escaped the night before while Peter was listening at the window to one of Wendy's stories. Just then, Wendy woke up. She was thrilled to meet Peter Pan and agreed to help him and Tinkerbell capture the mischievous shadow. Wendy told Peter that. Tonight was her last night in the nursery. Because she was growing up, Wendy was to have a bedroom of her very own. Fly with me to Neverland, Peter asked. You never have to grow up there, Wendy agreed at once, as long as her brothers come, could come too. So Peter told Wendy, John, and Michael to each. Think a wonderful thought. Then he shook Tinkerbell over them, sprinkling them with magic pixie dust. Before they knew it, the excited children were soaring high above the rooftops of London. Well, take the second star to the right and fly straight on until morning, Peter called, leading the way. But By the time the children flew over the enchanted world of Neverland, all was not well. Tinkerbell was becoming jealous of Wendy Peter. Wendy, Peter seemed to like her far too much. Without waiting for the others, Tinkerbell flew straight to Peter's hideout. This was where his friends, the lost boys, who also lived. The spiteful fairy told the lost boys that a terrible Wendy bird was heading their way and that Peter had ordered them to attack it. When Peter and the darling children flew into sight, the lost boys used their catapults and the pea shooters to knock the Wendy bird out of the sky. Luckily, Peter managed to catch Wendy before she crashed to the ground. He was furious with Tinkerbell as a punishment. He sent the naughty fairy away for a week. Later that day, Peter sent John, Michael, and the lost boys off to capture Indians where while he took Wendy on a tour of the island. The boys set off on the adventure and soon arrived in a clearing in the middle of a wood. We must surround the enemy and take them by surprise, John whispered. But the Indians had disguised themselves as trees and took the boys by surprise instead. The boys were captured and taken back to the Indian village. Meanwhile, Peter had taken Wendy to the beautiful mermaid lagoon. Suddenly, Peter spotted a little rowing boat in the distance. Why, it's Captain Hook, he cried. Captain Hook was a wicked pirate and Peter Pan's greatest enemy. Once in a fierce battle, Peter had cut off Hook's hand, the pirate now. Had a terrible steel hook screwed to his left wrist. A hungry crocodile had eaten the
the pilot's head. He had enjoyed his meal so much that he now followed the hook everywhere, hoping for a chance to gobble up the rest of him. Peter and Wendy followed the hook as he headed towards Skull Rock. Peter was shocked to see the Indian princess tie a lily in the boat too. He and Wendy watched as Hook, dry, Hook tied the princess to a rock in the sea. Peter knew he had to help. If you don't tell me where Peter Pan's hideout is, the wicked pilot snailed at the tiger lily. I'll leave you here to drown. Tiger Lily was very frightened, but she refused to betray her friend. Suddenly, Peter flew down in front of Hook. You again! The captain cried, rushing at Peter with his sword. Up and down, the rocky cliffs they fought. Then Hook slipped and only just managed to grab hold of the rocks to stop himself from falling into the sea. Down below, the crocodile snapped hungrily. Mr. Smee, the boatman, rushed over and pulled Hook into his rowing boat. As Mr. Smee hastily rowed back to the pirate ship, the crocodile was snapping right behind them. Peter and Wendy rescued Tiger Lily and took her home. The Indian chief had been very worried about his daughter and was overjoyed to see her safe. To thank Peter, he set John, Michael, and the lost boys free and made Peter an honorary chief. At last, dried out, tired out about after their adventures, Peter and the children ran, returned to Peter's secret hideout. Meanwhile, Captain Hook was back on his ship, trying to get warm. He was furious that Peter Pan had all outwitted him again. All of a sudden, Hook thought of a brilliant plan. He had discovered that Peter was cross with Tinkerbell and had sent her away for a week. So, the wicked pilot ordered Mr. Smee to bring the little fairy to the ship that very night. That evening, Hook welcomed Tinkerbell on board his ship. He told her that he needed her help to catch Wendy. All she had to was show Hook where Peter's hideout was. Tinkerbell was delighted to help. She dipped her tools in a bottle of ink and danced across the map of Neverland. Her footprint Footprints clearly showed the way to Peter's hideout. Hook smiled. He grabbed Tinkerbell and locked her in a glass lantern. At last, he could get his revenge on Peter Pan once and for all. Back at Peter's hideout, Wendy, Joe, and Michael were feeling homesick. I want my mother, sobbed Michael. And although the lost boys didn't know what a mother was, they decided they wanted one too. So Wendy promised that they would all go back to her London home together. Peter didn't want to leave Neverland and grown up. He watched gloomily as his friends waved goodbye. Goodbye, Peter, said Wendy. Before she left, I'll never forget you. But Captain Hook and the other pilots were waiting outside the hideout. The pilots captured the children and took them back to Hook's ship where they tied them to the ship's mast. Before Hook returned to the ship, he, fed, he left a parcel for Peter. It had a label on it that said, To Peter, with love from Wendy. Back on board his ship, Hook snailed at the children. You have a choice. Either sign your name in my book and join my pirate band or walk the plank, he said. The boys quite liked 
the idea of becoming pilots, but Wendy didn't. Peter Pan will save us, she said. Hook laughed loudly. Peter Pan won't save you this time, he sneered. We left a surprise present for him, a bomb. Very soon he'll be blown out of Neverland forever. Hearing these words, Tinkerbell knew she had to warn Peter. She struggled in her little glass poison. Suddenly there was a loud crack. The glass lantern broke and Tinkerbell was free. The tiny fairy reached Peter's hideout just as he was about to open the parcel. She grabbed the palm and threw it as far away as she could. Seconds later, there was a huge explosion. Then, Tinkerbell told Peter that Wendy and the others were in danger. Peter spotted up to rescue them with Tinkerbell close behind. Meanwhile, Hook had forced Wendy to walk the plank. When she stepped off the end of the plank, everybody waited for the splash as she hit the water. But it never came. Peter had arrived just in time to lift Wendy safely back onto the ship. He then turned to face his enemy. There was a loud clash of steel as Peter's dagger and the focus sword met. Back and forth, they went in the most terrible battle ever fought. Still fighting, they climbed up to the top of the ship's rigging. Hook lunged at Peter, who fought back, finally forcing the captain to slip and fall backwards. Waiting for him in the water below was the hungry crocodile. The children ran, clapped, and cheered as they watched Hook trying to escape the crocodile's snapping jaws. Hook spotted Mr. Smee in the rowing boat and swam towards him, but the co crocodile was right behind and catching up. As Hook disappeared into the distance, Peter gave the order to raise the anchor, then Tinkerbell sprinkled the pilot ship with magic pixie dust. In no time at all, the ship was soaring high above Neverland and heading back towards London. Soon, Wendy, John, and Michael were safely back in the Indian nursery, and up in the sky, silhouetted against the full moon, was the outline of the pilot ship, Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, and the Lost Boys who weren't quite ready to grow up yet, were off on another wonderful adventure.